doesn't come up often, but mostly because of um, Is that a gourmand fighting a pole plant? You think you've captured me? No, I've captured you! Body slam! They're immune to reds. That's... a strangely specific immunity. It's like being a human, it's like, yeah, I'm immune to, uh... Tomahawk missiles. Specifically. I can survive a hit from a tomahawk. <laughs> you know, that's just, uh, okay. That's that's nice, but why are you being shot by a tomahawk pistol, bud? Like that one trope is like suspiciously specific uh, uh, statement. Um, Pipe Yard. I wanted to check out Pipe Yard. I've been meaning to explore Pipe Yard. Pipe Yard is an area that was added in um, Downpour. And I've heard horror stories about it. But I like the music, and I've only had brief glimpses of it. Pop Turtle, don't you frickin' do it! Hey, Cyan, buddy. What's going on? <laughs> Sucker. Actually, one thing that I should do is get a caramel kill. Because if a Siam was on the men menu, a caramel might be as well. So we're gonna we're gonna cheese the caramel real quick. Never found pipe yard, only stuck to bathroom vanilla. I believe it connects to subterranean, um, industrial, and maybe shoreline or garbage. I don't know off the top of my head. Alright. Literally just handed me the kill, so I mean, might as well oblige him. All right, fuck you, Green. That was really lucky. Greens have a very high leth lethality chance. Um, there's a chance that a lizard's bite instantly kills you. Um, so I got pretty lucky there. Love that for me. I believe there's another region that was added, but I... Well, I mean, it's probably... Actually, I might just be thinking of the stuff from uh, Artificer and Spearmaster being super far in the past. Like the... Uh, like the partial superstructure kind of thing. Oh, that's right. I need a... I need firecrackers. Alright, this is very bad luck. The green has gone right. There's two pinks. And the caramel. Go away! Be gone, lizard! Alright, caramel. Where is the caramel? There's the caramel. Um... Alright, that's a caramel kill. I don't want to die. Oh, right, I need to chew on the caramel. Fuck. I need that green lizard to go away. All right, caramel, not part of the food quest. Unfortunate. But it does give us progress for Dragon Slayer, so that's cool. Ah. Um, I'm just gonna go real quick 
and save over here. Um, just so we keep our progress for the passages. And also because getting to pipe yards is... I get to pipe yards just fine going backwards. I think that gives us Dragon Slayer. Yeah, it should. Because we've got the green and the caramel. Cyan, pink, and blue. Hell yeah. Go to the pot, y'all. I see me rolling, rolling, rolling. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Rolling, 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 raw hot. I would rather go the upper path. Ah, it's the king! We lived! I lived, bitch! I lived! Ah! I kind of wonder what a gourmand, um... Food quest percent, uh, speedrun would be. If that category even exists. It seems like it would be an interesting one. Alright, so Pipe Yard is this way. Hey, welcome on by Aurorum Scavenger. I hope you're having a fine Monday. Starting off the last week of June. See, sometimes he does the really fast Neom. Other times, he's EP. I don't actually know what these, this other, what, where does this lead? Hmm. How's the round boy? He's interesting. Very different than, uh, or kind of difficult in some ways. Because of, uh, um, how he gets exhausted. It makes it a little hard, because I'm used to doing certain things to go fast. And he tires pretty quickly. But he is strong. There's also this food quest kind of thing that I'm trying, uh, sort of work on. It's so far, it hasn't seemed too crazy. Like, my thought is I would have to, like, eat everything. But there have been a couple things I've eaten which, uh, have not given me any progress. So, obviously, it's not everything. I have no idea where this is. But hey, we got an unlock, so I got that going for me. Ooh, we unlock blue lizards. Oh! Okay. I know where this is. This is that place I, uh, accidentally yeeted myself off sometime. I guess when they added Pipe Yard, they, uh, connected it to, um, that place. Hey, buddy. Uh, I'm gonna need to hope you go by. Wait, how are we on food? I need some of those bats. It's already connected. They just had the side tunnel pipe yard. Oh. For some reason I never went here. All right, all right. I didn't go to like that side area, those pipe area kind of thing. Pretty sure there's going to be an opportunity for some meat. 
I would like to work on specifically getting Hunter and Monk. Just because I would like to have the passage opportunity in case I want to or need to use it. Yeah, so far we have visited Moon. And I've been uh, distracted with the food quest before heading to Pebbles. This first is like, oh, a mole lizard. Well, I know there's some in subterranean, but I don't know where. But I know there's, or I, I know there's some in shaded, but I don't know where. And I could just do this in subterranean. I went through outskirts of subterranean, or outskirts drainage subterranean. Took a couple tries on that because everything was dark, but we got it. And now. It wants me to get this weird circle. I think it's the egg bug. I'm pretty sure it's the egg bug. Um, I've gotten the egg bugs before, but I messed up and died that run. It's that like olive circle with another circle thing inside of it. All right, that's a bunch of squid cicadas. Ah! All right, I can fight one of you, not both of you. Is that what I think it is? All right, that's fine. Uh, I'm not panicking, so don't don't spoil it for me yet. Um. I have been meaning to explore pipe yards, just period, because I love the music. I'm just kind of kind of going around and vibing. All right, Pink, chase me over to this ground that's much more easy to kill you in. I do dislike, uh, like. I get exhausted from the spear throw, but often I need to follow up a few times. I haven't heard about the damage. I feel like, like, I assumed he was doing extra damage. Um, just because, like, when he hucks things, like, he uses his whole body. And also, like, he he's a big boy, but that's not fat. That's all pure muscle, baby. So, um, I presume, but it's not like I've been, like, one-shotting green lizards, so... Eh. Heard good things about this game, but no one told you about the cool mechanical environment? Oh, yeah. Oh, the, the environment and music is some of the best parts of this. Inclu like, it's the... The shmovement is very satisfying, especially once you know a lot of the technicalities of how it works and have the capability to do them. Actually, hold on, let me wanna break myself down real quick. I've been I've been really big for a while now. Um But like if I'm recalling correctly, the creator was kind of inspired from their visit to Korea. And they were thinking of like um, rats or pigeons or whatnot in a city. You know, these creatures, they they exist and live in all these buildings and ductwork and all this stuff that we've built. But they don't really know what all that is, right? They don't, they don't know what it does. They don't know what it's for. But they live in it regardless. And um, I feel like they... The fact that you just drop in into this world and have no further information and you just walk around um i think they do a really good job of conveying that feeling of just kind of being a creature um and going around not knowing exactly what everything is and you just make it work anyway 
Is that really a downpipe? Just, all right. That's uh, a choice. Probably like if you can't uh, wall jump. Ooh. Is that a cyan that's like drowning itself over there? I think that's a cyan. I'm afraid to start moving left to right because I feel like it's going to get unstuck and yeet itself at me. Ooh. Hey, buddy. No, it's definitely a cyan. They uh, cannot yeet themselves very well from water, it seems. Please go in the pipe. Whoop. It's also really nice how the music, um, the sound design is very good. So like, you know, you hear the, the music changes when there's enemies and there's, oh, they are aware of you. But like, the more enemies there are, the more it layers on top of itself and becomes really great. Fucking pop turtles. All my homies hate pop turtles. Ooh, an unlock. What did I get? What you got for me, buddy? Oh, I think I think those are lotus fruit? Is what they're called? They see me wall climbing. I'm falling because I'm exhausted. I knew I should have grabbed the pole. Here we are, once again, sliding through the pipes, dropping down, going right. That's a red centipede! Hey, buddy. That's a... Uh... Hmm. Hmm. That's a... Uh... Hmm. That's a problem for a different day. We're gonna need, we're gonna need a bigger shoe. <laughs> oh yeah. I do, I do want to body slam that red from the top rope. But I wanted to get that shelter safe real quick. Ugh, drop wigs. Where are you going, buddy? Where are you going, buddy? Fuck you. Fuck you. The only thing worse than a pop turtle? A drop wig. Hold on, come back through the pipe. Come back through the pipe, I want to body slam you. Oh. Rule, rule, rule of combat, always double tap. Especially against drop wigs. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. I'm like camping this pipe. <laughs> Let me see if I can zone and get them to come through it. I think entities, um, so the game is constantly modeling the AI, even if they're off screen in a region. But I think um, two screens away, certain things deload, and I think it might like simplify or speed things up. But I'm trying to hope that Centipede comes back through. Want to know Gormaz damage modifier? I, not really. I don't think it's too hugely important. I haven't really concerned myself with some of like, the hyper specifics of like exact numbers. I'm just kind of stuck with like, I know, you know, I know it's stronger than Survivor on that initial throw, but then he's, then he's a bit tired. Um, I think like exact numbers 
Ooh. Ooh. That's a big centipede. Ooh. You gonna go from the top rope? Top rope! Oh no, no, no! I fucked up! Oh, we didn't land on it right. Oh, that was gonna be so cool. I feel like that had to have been from a high enough distance, the body slam, but I think I like just missed it. Shots. Are you? Are you fucking are you fucking with me? Are you fucking serious? That was horse shit. This is why I hate drop wings. <laughs> I hit him with your oh, why weren't you stunned? Literally set myself up for failure. Literally setting myself up for failure. Fuck you, drop wig. Ooh, ooh, come on. Come on. BAM! Are you serious? Fuck you. Delicious. Oh, I lost my rock. Alright, that kinda sucks. Aha, a new rock. Ashes. That is a big centipede and a red centipede. All right. All right. <laughs> Happened to hit the red centipede and it just boomeranged my rock back to me. <laughs> All right. Um. Backflip, please. Bam! All right. It was not dead. I tried to eat it and it was not dead. Are you fucking with me? I feel like I didn't body slam it. Was that not high enough? Or did, was I was I overestimating how much damage the body slam does? We speared it like four bloody times too. Hmm. I guess I should have stabbed it for more a few more times. Uh, I don't want to do this when there's a red right next to it. Yep. 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 Go down there. I heard a thunk. We definitely hit it.
Fuck you! And then we feast on victory! <laughs> yeah! Get back here with my spear, buddy! Oh, I need to rest a bit. Alright, we got my spear. No, get back here! You have my spear? No! Mmm. Mmm, I hate this. I believe those small ones actually can't kill me. Alright, we're gonna try and just go past the red one. We got free! We got free! Don't touch! No touch! It got me. Oh, it got me. All right. I think the game is telling me, don't go that way. I know, that's kind of, that's kind of the vibe I'm getting. I think, uh, I think we go the other direction. One does not simply go past the red ones. Yeah, we were very close. We were so close. I think if I did a better, um, I feel like I could have done a much better pounce to get away. Hey, Digital Vox, welcome on by. Play an other side? Ooh, I haven't heard of that before. How was it? But if you need a rate and run, that's perfectly fine. Streaming is some hard work. I'm certainly be going for a while longer. So you should take the opportunity to refresh yourself. Leave a piss. Take a water. Preferably from a different place than you just pissed, but I'm not your keeper. How goes Rain World? We are just starting the Gourmand, and he is a big boy with big damage. And I am currently exploring the pipe yards. Um, I've never done so, so I have no idea where the I'm going, but, um, it's fun. Uh, there's a lot of centipedes. So many centipedes. Please, please put some of the centipedes back. Please return some of the centipedes. Got a red run, but yeah, no problem. I hope you have a fantastic eep and a great start to your week. Let me go through over. Have I been through that pipe? Yes. That left area is new. Somehow. Hmm. Hey! Fucking cyan jump scare. I see. Give me my spear! There we go. Alright. Uh, I don't know how he died. I guess one spear was enough to kill him? That's kind of nuts. Dang it. I think I just need to uh, let Gourmand rest a little bit. Good. Or we could just do that. I kind of thought I could yeet real fast. Um, alright, this is a new area. Hmm. 
That centipede really doesn't want me to go through that pipe. Come on, buddy. Oh, I think we hit it twice. Yes, victory over the centipedes. All right, now, where's my spear? There we go. That was a, that was a nice, like, double Goomba. Um... You know what? Maybe we don't go that way. Maybe, maybe we try and go up some more. Uh, I want to see if this is a... Uh, Alright. I know there are sometimes secret pipes. You know, it doesn't look like a pipe you can go through, but you can go through it anyway. Usually they're scavenger merchants, but sometimes they're just other paths. So I had to try. Okay, instead of going up, let's go uppies. Gorman's a big boy. He needs strong uppies. All right, let me wait to not be exhausted. Um, oh, okay. We've gone a big circle. I see. All right, I do, all right, so all that's left is... Getting past the red and also up over here with all the squid cicadas. So let's touch base with that rest because I do want to continue my hunter and uh, outlaw progress. Get those passages knocked out. I feel like this might be a game where I use a lot of passaging. How are we looking? How am I getting chieftain progress? What? 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 I'm so confused. So, Chieftain is reputation with scavengers. Um, I don't, I haven't run into scavengers in a while, so I'm not sure what's going on there, buddy. I don't know if it's just like naturally trending upwards because reasons or what. All right, what do we got up here? Oh, this is an interesting location. I like this. IPR just has such interesting geometry. And it just looks so different than other areas. We got a little squid cicada orgy down there. Let's uh, not bother them. Ooh, unlock. Ooh, a cyan. Hold on. Ah, oh, I almost touched it with a backflip. All right, let's get a squid cicada. Gives us a little bit of uppies. There we go. What do we unlock? New arena. Let's see. And the squid cicada death spiral up there. That was kind of wacky. Okay, so I think this just goes over here. Yup. 
Um, just make sure we fill out the map. Picking up. Making sure there's no weird hidden areas to go through a pipe off screen. Oh, wow. There is a bomb here. How nice for there to be a bomb here all of a sudden. It is fantastic. I know there's a way to store a backflip. I want to trigger this piece of shit and then kill him. No! No! Let me get free! Let me get free! I'm too fat! I'm too fat! You gotta let go of me! Drop weights. Getting in the way of my exploring. Well, I will say some of my usual tricks to easy get a uh, monk and hunter won't really work with Gourmand because he needs so much food. Cause like there's uh I mean I guess if I had like if I ate the full on or so if I eat the full and then have two, um, uh, centipedes, I could do it. Because I would need to eat both centipedes. No, no, I could still do it. I would just need to eat, so yeah, never mind. I'm, I'm a potato. I don't know what I'm talking about. Get out of my way. Squid Cicada, get out of my way. I will kill you if you don't stop. Gourmand, please stop going ass first. I would really appreciate that. All right. All right, he's not here this time. Good, love that for me. Um, I caramba. All right, we are here again. Kind of slurp on up. Cabbage, welcome on by. Playing some smooshy come home. I think I saw. I think I saw your about thing on it. And I think you're playing a mushroom. Oh no! No, the scan. No, wait. No, no, they're coming for me. Help! Save me! Hello, back. I am Becky. Pay no attention to the change. Speak, I assure you I am Becky Wormer, the Draconic Worm, Draconic Serpent, the Flightless Dragon, the Worm on the Internet. <laughs> but hey, Kaibo, uh, I know stream is hard work. I'm going to be getting up to shenanigans for a while, a little while longer. So if you've got a raid run, that's fine. But at the very minimum, you should take a chance to leave a piss, take a water, Preferably not from the same place you just pissed, but I am not your keeper. Stream going? Yes, we are playing um, the third 
of the five slug casts added in downpour. We were playing the Gourmand. He is a big fella. He's a big old chunky boy, but don't let that fool you. That's all muscle, baby. Um, if y'all don't know Cabbage, uh, he is a wonderful bean. Well, uh, he's a wonderful cabbage. Uh, he has amazing, interesting games that he plays. Um, a lot of a lot of stuff that I really haven't heard too much about, but they're always banger games. He's a pretty swell person. So uh, if you somehow got here and you're not already following him, I just helped you out. I made it really simple. There's like a little button right there. Just click that and you're following cabbage. Um, and look at all those amazing little cabbage emotes. Like, who doesn't want those? Uh, they are great. <laughs> I love your little cabbage wizard. It's so fantastic and such a great aesthetic. Um, so, I don't know if you haven't heard of Rain World. It is kind of an open world exploration sort of game. Not really a Metroidvania, because you don't. There's like not permanent upgrades that you then go revisit places, but um, you kind of just go all over the place from uh, the get go. Uh, the game just drops you in and uh, you explore. Um, there is sort of there is basically an end game, um, but a lot of lore is just things you find out in the background. Where's my rock? There's my rock. Um, it can be a hard game, but I would say it's hard in a pretty fair way. Because, like, you are not at the top of the food pyramid. Uh, so you need to pick your fights. You need to be strategic, and sometimes not fighting is the best uh, decision. Hey, Leone. Welcome on by, you little crimer. Going back to speedrun this game after? I'm still, I'm definitely still doing speedrunning. Um, so there is, uh, uh, you know, I made a fucking... Well, apparently I disabled it. But there is a, an event in July, I want to say the 7th through 9th. Um, there's going to be a bunch of... Rain World, not all speedruns, they also have a lot of just relevant silly videos that people have been doing. Um, and it's going to be raising money for Rainforest Trust. Uh, so while that, I was trying to get a really good um, survivor of 100% to submit, um, a sub two hours specifically. Uh, didn't manage to get that in time for submissions to close. Um, I submitted what I had. We'll, we'll see what they say. But while I was doing that, I was doing like four to six hours of Rain World practice and speed running for like a week straight. So uh, I got a little burned out from just doing it constantly back to back to back. But uh, I've been resting a bit. And by resting, I mean I've been spending a lot of time theory crafting a different route, um, which I actually did a test run off off stream. Fuck off, Pop Turtle! I'm trying to talk here. Um, I really like the changes. I don't know if it's faster. I don't know if it's faster at an optimal route, like full up. But I would like to show it off and give it a more serious go. Is there some RNG in the run? Absolutely. Um, there is definitely RNG in uh, runs. Um, just the way the AI goes, the way um, certain things spawn. That is a colored pearl. Interesting. Um... The route that I've changed also has some critical RNG in it that can significantly significantly impact how um, efficient it is. Go away, Pop Turtle. But on the plus side, a lot of that RNG is at the beginning of the run. So I don't think it's too bad. And you can just reset. Or... Um, 
Another thing is that it does... It lets me avoid... Most of my motivation for thinking theory crafting it is front loading some of the stuff that was giving me a lot of trouble at the end of my um, survivor, uh, end of my normal runs as survivor. Jigger Benoit, mm, a snake. Yes, I am a worm, draconic serpent, or a flightless dragon. You know, well, whatever term floats your boat. Um, well, we might as well rest. We're full on food, and I still need to get Hunter and, uh... Hunter, Outlaw, and... Um... Actually, I think it's just Hunter and Outlaw. Worm. Yeah, I think what's holding me back from Hunter is I keep dying. Which, uh, sets me back a little bit. Uh, it's a little frustrating. Really love the Pipe Yard music. Alright, where have we not gone in Pipe Yard? I think the only thing left is... there. The super ultra dangerous... Centipede zone. So, against my better judgment, that's where we're headed. And if we can get lucky, I can maybe lure them away or move fast enough to get past them. God, this is such a banger music. Ah, we made it. Good job. Maybe, is this actually the right way I need to go? Yes. There is a bloody drop wig right there! Be gone, drop wig! I put my spear, ah, whatever. Also, Gourmand has a crafting system. I just made it bomb. Uh, they rock and a bunch of firecrackers. Huh. Also, you see that red centipede? That is the thing preventing me from- No, 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 Wait, 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 wait. Alright, if I can pipe juke the red centipede. If I can pipe juke the red centipede. All right, I need to get its attention. All right, I have my spear in hand. I threw the bomb. <laughs> I blew myself up. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> uh, despite all of my padding, the Gourmand, unfortunately, is not explosion proof. <laughs> no, I, I hit the throw button, and after throwing my spear, I 100% I blew myself up. Although I forgot that it can do that, so I need to keep that in mind. I also forgot the red centipedes have armor, so that's great. Love that for me. All right, so we made a bomb. But can we make more bombs? The answer is yes, yes we can. So my hope is that I can get the centipede mucked up with these uh, bombs. But I do need to eat. Alright, I do need to lure it over here. <sighs> Ooh, that's a, that's a second spear. I basically want to prepare my battlefield. Alright, so we have two spears, 
two bombs. We have some firecrackers, which can help us uh, distract it. Um, is that a king vulture? I think that was a king vulture. All right, here it comes, baby. I threw it the wrong direction. Where's my spear? I mean, it looks like we damaged it. Um, you know what? It's no longer blocking our progress. I'm gonna take the W and continue on because the normal centipede is peanuts compared to the big one. How do you do jumps? Um, it's kind of like a uh, um, input. So if I move, if I run a direction and press backwards and jump, it does a backflip. And then if you fall from a certain height and press like a diagonal input, you'll roll. And you can go from backflip into a roll because it's a just the right height. Those are some of the movement basics. Oh no, it's another vulture. Stay away, stay away from me. All right, I, I do need to eat. I mucked up. So, um, damn it. Gourmand can body slam enemies. And that's what I did there, but then I accidentally lodged my weapon into the wall. Stretch and hydrate. Okay, Glottal, I guess I'll do that. Ah, that's some, that's some good old stretching. I hope you are having a fine Monday yourself, Glottal. If you don't know Glottal, you really should. He's an amazing artist, live 2D creator, and a really great person to know. And I am honored to call him a friend. I don't have hands or bones. Why well, noodles have bones? Why am I failing that jump? Drecky, please, please, bud, come on. Snakes are basically like tubes of muscle. Get, get over. There you go. Um, all right, I'm exhausted, so I need to wait a second. Uh, unfortunately, Gourmand's massive strength comes at a cost of tiring easily. So I have to take it easy with some of my shenanigans. No! It took my spears with it. Alright. New plan. Different from the old plan. Alright, I need that red centipede to go away. I need all those centipedes to go away. Hmm. And to sleep. Alright, Cabo. I hope you have a fantastic eat and a great rest of your week. This is the final week of June. You're almost halfway through 2023! Yay! Oh, hey, Shigoi Benoi. Welcome to the Ziggurat. I hope you have a great time. Ooh, it's coming! How do you know I'm there? All right, we're gonna try and juke it. We're gonna go for a pipe juke. I just need it to stop camping. Alright, I have a rock in hand. Uh, 
Oh, just insta dead. Dang it. I was trying to bump it so it would move. Ooh, the red centipedes are final boss tier. <laughs> I really don't want to have to fight it if I can help it. Because, as you can see, my efforts to do so are not so great. Although it would help if fucking centipedes wouldn't take all my damn spears. Aye! Yep. Yeah. Alright. So let's see here. We're going to go up here. Um, Prepare the zone. We've got one bomb. Uh, no, centipedes can't see. They can only feel. Um, and they can, they can sort of hear. Um, which is why the, uh, the firecrackers, like, make them go crazy. Um. And, like, I thought I was touching it when I was coming out of the pipe. But I guess I wasn't. Oh, there's a drop wig right there. Hmm. I feel your fear. Yeah, yeah. All right. We have three bombs, but one spear. I don't know if bombs actually deal damage to them. I feel like the bombs at minimum stun them. I... Brecky, you need to store... You need to store your ammunition better. All right, boy. All right, buddy. Let's put them right here. I need to get them out of my, my jump zone. That's the thing. I don't want to accidentally throw one while I try and eat this centipede over here. That's another thing I need to stop doing, is lodging my spear in the wall. Mmm, delicious centipede. Whoop! Whoop! Come on, buddy. Come on. All right, I need to isolate you. But I do not want to fight both of you at the same time. Oh, I think we got the red one's attention. Hmm. All right, buddy. Ah! Fuck, I was too close to it. It did deal damage, all right? So it is effective, but I need to be further away because... So, uh, so the last character I played um, was the Artificer, and their shtick is that they have a bomb jump natively, and they can craft bombs and explosive spears, and they are immune to explosions. So I've gotten a little bit too used to being close to explosions for my own safety. Uh, and I am paying the price because the Gorbon strength is not blast resistance. Ah, ah, there we go. I am sad that it's kind of hard to use a lot of the sh movement I've been getting a lot of practice with as Gourmand. He just tires too easily. Alright. I thought I had a rock. Seems like I actually may want to put my bombs here and try and hit them when they come over that ledge. That might actually be better. Ooh, a second spear. Shit. All right, buddy. All right, buddy. 
Hmm. I think what I'll do is I'll use the bombs to soften them up. But I need to use, like, because it looks like, so the red centipedes are um, armored. So I actually have to destroy their armor before I can even hurt them. What about doing YOLO and just run? It's very risky. I've almost, I almost did it once because I wiggled free. But they are fast and I have not been over there. So I do not know what it looks like. Um, passage wise. Oh, an egg bug went over there and got killed. No, I missed. We are down a spear because Drecky is terrible at aiming. Blood and ashes. Oh, there's a drop wig. The drop wig's right there. That's weird. But okay. Um, so there's a shelter right here. I'm actually thinking of grabbing my bombs and just resting there. That will put us closer to the this area that we're trying to get through. And just dum da 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 dum 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 da dum dum dum. All right, we do need a little bit more of food, but there is the drop wig, or drop wig. There is the drop wig we could kill. Um, that is something we can kill. There is that centipede I killed earlier, but the sky's in the way. He's way too close. We're just going to go over here and kill this drop wig. Because we hate drop wigs in this house. Don't even give us a lot of food. Delicious. All right, full of, full of delicious eggs. We are going to rest. All right. All right, all right, all right. Let me get a little bit bigger. You know, all this cons all this food consumption playing as the gourmand really gives me the urge to, like, really cook a meal. Because it has been... It has been a hot minute since I really cooked. I got really sick at the beginning of June. Ooh, second spear. Good stuff. Ooh, I see stuff to make a third bomb. All right, we'll store all this here. I do love me some cooking. The question is, is what to make? You know, <clears throat> pesto, pesto stuffed mushrooms is a nice snack, but it's not really a full meal. I think maybe, maybe a stew would be nice. It's been a while since I've had some oxtail split pea stew, but like, oxtails are so expensive around here for some reason. I think I would switch it to like a ham hock. I think that would be cheaper. All right, I only have bombs, so I'm gonna need you to get out of the way. No, I don't want to drop my bombs here. I do want to get that rock, though. All right, what if I move two zones away? Will that get you to move? I also want to kill this red centipede just for, like, <clears throat> just to kill it. <laughs> you know? I ain't never killed one before. Then with the red lizard. I feel like we almost had that red lizard killed because we got a we got a real sweet snipe on it. Um, unfortunately, it just got away from us. 
All right. Need this guy to bam. No. Fuck. And now it's going to get away because we put our spear into the wall. Crab cakes. Because I get exhausted after one spear throw, it really seems like I need to wear the enemy down. All right, so that's one bomb. So I think the strategy is going to be bomb, spear, pound, run away to rearm our... Um, so we hit him with a bomb. So if we're over here, and it's on that wall, I should be far enough away. And then we pound it. Recover our spear. Hmm. It'd be tricky. Might be better to just spam bombs on it now that I... Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Come on. I know you know. I know you know. I know you know I'm here. I don't want to get too close because if it grabs me, I'm friggin' GG. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. You know you wanna. You know you wanna. Come on over. I was not a safe distance away. <laughs> I... I don't know where I am, but, uh, I'm dead. <laughs> okay, so, I think what happened is, um, the bombs that I stored were too close to the explosion. So it caused a chain reaction, detonating the ones that were next to me. And, uh, that happened. On the plus side, we have our spear again, so that's... Nice. Oh, hey, he's already over here to party. Oh, he wants to party. Um, hmm. The Gorman knows where he is because he knows where he isn't. By subtracting where the Gorman isn't, he knows where he is. I need you to get back here with my spear, good sir. Sir? Sir? Sir, that is my spear you have. Hmm. Hmm. This is pretty good. What will this make? <clears throat> oh, it made a firecracker. Literally the one thing I needed. I need a weapon. All right, I see a spear. We need that spear very badly. Mmm, delicious centipede. I hate myself. I want to get one of the small centipedes and see if I can make something with it. Um, that centipede looks like it's big enough that it could actually kill me. Oh, there's another spear right here. All right. We got that going for us. How are we on time? We have a lot of time. We have plenty of time. All right, I need... All right. 
I want to combine you two. What is this? Oh, it's a beehive! No! 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 Let me go! It's a race to who gets free first. It's a race to who gets free first. Run! Run! Fly, you fool! Fly! <laughs> Mistakes! Alright. We are between a hard place and a rock. Because I think that centipede is big enough to hurt us. Uh, okay. I need you to go through this pipe. Welcome to Centipede Hell. Yep, yeah, yep, I understand now. I was like, what are you talking about? I don't really see many centipedes here. And then, uh, yeah. I started seeing the centipedes here. Should've just gone for it, now you might be a little fucked. What are you talking about? I'm fine. I'm fine. Um, hmm. I don't know. Like, when they grab you, usually they stay stuck to you. So I'm not sure how I'm losing them when I go through the pipe. Can I... Is there a... How do I get from left to right? Can I go up? I don't think I can go up. Ooh, a bat. Hey, little bat. Don't you want to say hello to your friend Gourmand? Don't you want to say hello to Gourmand? Say hello to Gourmand! I dropped him. Ooh, egg bug. I need you. I think. Yes, I do need you. But I need to eat you. And for that, I need a spear to kill you first. Pipe physics are funny. They have a yeet force. Yes. Yes, they do. Is that a spear? That is not a spear. Don't worry, egg bug. I will treat you quite nicely. There a spear here? Hmm. Thought that was a spear. Hmm. I think may can I get over there? If I went up the other pipe, I could have. Let's go to the next green and see if there is an the pipe. So I can get this egg bug because I need it. Oh, I oh, there we go. No, that wasn't a pipe. What was I? No. Fucking. Are you fucking serious, mate? Fucking jabate foreground element. All right. Okay, dude. I'll just eat some damn bats. Sucks to suck, Drecky. Sucks to suck. Ooh, what's up here? Can I go over? I would need a uh, spear or two, probably two. This is where I'd have a. This is where I'd throw a spear. 
If I had one! Where does this connect to? You know what? Let's not go down the spooky pipe zone. Yet. Let's, uh, let's go tag that shelter first. We're, uh, really mapping out, uh, pipe yards. <clears throat> I feel like our passage progress is pretty bad. Yeah. yeah. All those deaths did not help. Granted, I can kind of brute force them if I really wanted to. Um. Wow, why is it not spawning any spears for me? Hey, scavs! Y'all having you having a bit of a party over there? Nice. Yellow curry sends you to Karma Ten. Ooh, that is good. Curry is the good stuff. There is a peanut butter curry that's usually a staple of mine. Wait, I think we just went in a giant circle finally. I think we have pretty much explored all of Pipe Yard. Nope. Nope, this is new. All right, that centipede's too big. Which is not good. No! I was right, it was too big, and I did not hit it with a rock. Hydrate. All right. All right, let's stretch the neck out. Ah. Ah, really nice neck stretch is when, like, if you take... If you lean your neck to the right, you take your left arm, put it behind your back, Grab your wrist and pull it to the right as well. And you'll get a nice long stretch going from your neck from your neck all the way through the kind of shoulder area. Get that whole region. Ah. Oh, it feels so good. Oh yes. Rain world, please give me a spear. Stop giving your 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 most adorable slug cat its its toughest challenges, my friend. We're not even in Sky Island. You're not supposed to be this mean to me. I don't know why I did a backflip there, but you know what? It works. This is why you don't dual wield centipedes, I guess. Ah! I see. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. I don't have a spear. One. That's two. Shit. No. 
All right, we made a mistake. We made a mistake, my friends. Hmm. I would rather not go that way. We will go this way. Um, I need to go down. Um, actually, no. How the frick frack do I go over there? Doesn't seem like I can wall jump. Oh, great! That's just fantastic! Can we not deal with the kelp? How do I get over there? I need to go up. Why is it not letting me up? Why is it not letting me up? All right, I'm exhausted. Let me get a second. This is what I would call very bad. Because that kelp is dangerous. Fuck. 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 Oh, hey, we finally have a spear. Well, I guess we're going the way we were going previously. But we are armed this time. So I can potentially defend myself. Kind of weird that there's no bat flies here anymore. What? When I spear it, it's supposed to be stunned. All right. If we're hard stuck, I'm just going to pass it out. On the next death. On the next death, we're either making progress or we're we're just going to we're just going to pass it out. No spear. No spear. Why are there no spears here? That was just the damnedest of luck. Ay, caramba! Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Buddy. What are you doing, buddy? You're in my way, buddy. You're in my way, buddy. What's going on here, buddy? I don't like any of this, buddy. Cool. I'm just easy. Eat some get some DoorDash real quick. All right, we got one. Come on, buddy. All right, we're passaging out. All right, I think I think we've done plenty of exploring in the pipe yards. I think it was a valuable experience. Uh, love the music. Kind of interesting, except for the whole centipede hell. Um, I think it's time to time to get on with the game. We are going to industrial complex and we are going this is not the one I meant to go to. This is what I get for going to default. We're going to have to we're going to have to canopy. We're going to we're going to start making our way to pebbles, baby. Start making our way to pebbles. 
I don't want to fight that caramel, baby. Go on, buddy. I just, uh, I just got here, alright? I just moved in. Silly lizard. Man, it's so nice when they're so very, um, consumable like that. That's a king lizard. I thought he got something, but I guess he didn't. Oh no, he did have something. He's just being greedy and wants to also get me. Man, look at all these spears. Imagine if they had given me some of these spears while we were in Pipe Yard. Wouldn't that have been something, huh? Get over here, you dang bats! Whatever. Oh, look! That's like the fifth spear I've seen! Alright, uh, we actually need to go... to that left pipe. Oh, that's no bueno. What are you doing, bud? This is not a favorable place for me to have to fight. So I'm hoping the lizards pass. Just kind of do a little sneaky breaky over here. Uh, mm, failing these wall jumps, very embarrassing. There we go. Ah. No, 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 no! Fucking holding on to that blue nearly killed me. I put both friggin' spears into the wall. Blood and ashes. You have got to be kidding me. We are not having a good time! We are not having a good time! I'm about to be eaten because I'm exhausted. It's okay. He's injured. He can drop us. We can wiggle out of this. We got a long way to go to his uh, den. We're fine. We're fine. We got this. We got this. Come on. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Drop me. Drop me. All right, he did not drop me. We are dead. We are D-E-D -E -D dead. Well, that was very embarrassing. I swear, I'm a good gamer. I know how to play. Ah. Ah. Ah! Ah! I accidentally body slammed him. That was cool. Uh... Caramel do be scaring me like that, though. I- Oh, that backflip dodge! Oh, that was sick. Oh, that was sick. Um... I might be screwed here. Yep. 
I was cornered between a king vulture and a lizard. All right. That's... That's Rain World sometimes. Sometimes you just have bad luck. And shenanigans occur. Oh! Oh, we want that spear, baby. I want that... I want to be able to defend myself. Alright, that was not high enough to body slam. Noted. Oh, I need that vulture to go away, please. If there's a normal vulture, I'd be fine with trying to sneak past it. But a King Vulture's snipes are painful. Alright. It is distracted. We can get by. Huh? You know what? That, uh, King Vulture can take the green and go. There you go, buddy. Get some, uh, get some, get some fast food. Get a bit of, get a bit of DoorDash, huh? Um. I'm helping. Alright, I tried to help. You saw it. I tried to help. Uh, oh. That's not a spear. Alright. Sucks to be me. That's a spear, though. And we are going to get it. Because I want to defend myself. I do not like how that pipe looks like there are lizards right next to it. Why did y'all throw a spear over here? What is this chromatic party that's going on? That is, that is a little, little more than a territory scuffle. I think it straight up killed that pink. That, uh, that green, that green, that green's fucking murderer. Fucking moitering. Alright. Let's see, we can get that spear. Hey buddy, hey buddy. Come on. Ah, the blue is still alive. Great. All right, we ate that one. But uh, what about second blue? Let's uh, let's get the first one out of the way. There we go. That probably finished him off. Alright. We have a weapon. We are not in vulture range. Uh, oh, and there's a camo too. Cool. Gourmand yeet! I think that was a pretty good throw. 
Great. Now there's a blue lizard over here making itself known. Come on, buddy. Blue lizards are very weak. So... Not a high chance of dying to its bite. Still, I would prefer not to be bitten at all. Let's uh, fill up on this camo lizard. Now that is a slide, baby. Come on. Come on, Cyan. Yep, yep, yep. You need to go down to the right. Ooh, the red is right there. Ha! No, I wanted to body slam it. I don't have any extra spears. But I need to get the one out of its body. Hmm. Playing a dangerous game of chicken here. I have put myself between a rock and a hard place. Damn it, I didn't get the spear. Didn't get the spear. Ooh, still didn't get the spear. I'm trying to play it a little bit safe. Man, it's lighting up, but I'm just not grabbing it. All right, I'm I'm gonna I'm just gonna continue. Although it would have been fun to also body slam the red. I didn't think about that until just now. Oh, thankfully the spit pushed me upwards. Ooh, that's two spears. All right, I need to be careful. Hey, Crossroads Seraph, welcome on by! Snake raid? Yes! All the snakes must pile on in. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Playing some Doom Eternal. Very, very fun game. Um, hey, if you don't know me, I am Armor. I am a Draconic Serpent, a Flightless Dragon, or simply a worm. Here on the internet, playing some video games. You got a raid and run? That's perfectly fine. I'll be here for a little while longer. Uh, playing some Rain World. At the very least, streaming is some hard work. You should go leave a piss, take a water. Preferably not from the same place you piss, but I'm not your keeper. <laughs> I hope you are having a great Monday. Um, if... Some of the con maker fight. It's been a hot minute since I've played Doom Eternal, so it doesn't... I'm not too sharp on where exactly that is. Um, let's see, is there another spear? I feel like that red is almost dead, and I would love to have a red kill finally. Oh! Shysta. Um, if you've played Rain World before, um, I have not beaten all the characters. I have beaten uh, Survivor, Hunter, Spearmaster and Artificer, and today is our first day as Gourmand. Um, so please no spoilers for other characters or like the end of Gourmand or whatnot. Um, I would appreciate it. But if you've never played Rain World, welcome. It is a pixel exploration 
uh, game. And, oh, I guess I did kill that red. Uh, never mind, um, my, uh, uh, fighting over here with these lizards. Uh, fighting should never be your first decision in this game, as you are not at the top of the food pyramid. Um, but with some clever strategy and, uh, good luck, you can come out on top as I have against this red lizard, which is usually the most deadliest of lizards. And I want to take a nibble out of him because, just, just because, um, our big boy here, the gourmand, is a voracious creature. Did want to give a raise and see you in Vivi or Berries? I think it was I think it was Vivi's because I think I saw you too, and I've been uh, lurking now and again when I catch you online. But I do think we tend to not stream at the same time because I don't think I've seen you online to raid. So I appreciate you stopping on by. It's always nice to find more snakes, more snakes. <laughs> Ooh, ooh, we got another little... That's amazing. Gourmand taking down a vulture. Gourmand's kind of interesting. He's doing all these little arts. Little art things. Gonna be boats passing in the night. Yeah! But we're everywhere. The snakes are everywhere. Yes, like six of fit shows. Snake Station actually came in earlier today as well. This has been a this has been a very serpentine, uh, very serpentine Monday. All right, now we need to get to Canopy, which is going to be Uppies. Love how vibrant your models. Oh, thank you. The base snake is actually a Hog Island Boa, one of my pets. Um, and they're naturally hypomelanistic, which is a little bit drab, it felt like. So I also, um, you know, it's already a central Southern American snake locality. So I thought, eh, it's kind of the region. Let's do some cuts of cuddle splash. And I think it turned out very well. Ah. All right. Munching on some lizards. I'm trying to work on my hunter passage, which means I need to only eat meat. Yes, yes, the uh, artist in rigor is Shadow Fox. Should be in my, my little about page. I think she does really good uh, fine textures, like the feathers or like hair and fur. Um, she's done some pretty good art. I can't wait for her to finally get like an actual human uh, uh, a rig. I think she's mostly gotten animals. I think she's done like a bear, mine, a cat. Um, done some various things like little duckies that are that are available as little asset things. African bush viper. Ooh, bush vipers are very pretty. All right, they're very vibrant. Although there's there's usually that one um, that one very common bush viper picture that's been like recolored to heck and back. Like, if anyone's seen a bush viper, they've probably seen that photo. Oh, a vulture! Oh, a vulture! Let's get out of here. All right, that turned out pretty good, all things considered. Now for the Pipe of Doom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
I... Huh. I don't know why I did a backflip. I know there's a way to, like, store a backflip so you can do it off a pipe. But... I don't know how to do it. Yes, yeah, the Pipe of Doom. So... The AI in this game is sometimes coded weirdly. So, in that pipe... Um... Enemies are coded to be... I don't think it's afraid, but they don't want to be on the top or bottom. They want to be in that middle spot. The place that I had to go to, um... Progress. So, that presents a problem. Uh, as the slug cat is not very good at combat. They can only throw... They, you can't aim anywhere but basically horizontal. So, uh, if enemies are in that middle area, you tend to have to get a little bit creative. Thankfully, um, we were A-OK, -okay, and now we're going on up. Oh. There's a lot of interesting things they did in the game to get the creatures to behave and go to a certain place. So there's an area... I don't know if I'll get to it today. Especially if I died there. Um, but there are some... There's a couple places the enemies can spawn, but they're actually coded to be afraid of the region that they spawn in. And that's to get them to run down. Um... And it's so, like, they wanted more enemies in a certain place for density reasons, but they didn't want them all there at the same time. They kind of wanted to spread them out. Um, is that a vulture? Well, whatever it was, they are not in our way anymore. So we're going up. We're going up, up, up. Um, still need Outlaw, so I'll kill that pole plant. Unfortunately, our character's strength comes at a cost, in that he puts his whole body into the uh, spear throws, and he becomes exhausted afterwards. It makes it very interesting for combat, because he can Alpha Strike pretty well. But then you kind of gotta, you gotta play a little, little defensive, until you get a chance to Spear again, if they're not already dead. Also usually a lot of Camo Lizards here, so I'm kind of afraid of where they- Ooh, there's one! There's one! That's not a good spot! Hmm. Hey, buddy. <laughs> I like how Gorman's so strong and so big that he, uh, can't really pull me. Bye-bye! Alright. Um... I do want to do a thing real quick before I get to my shelter. We're going to cause a weird spooky effect. I'm sure that's nothing. We won't need to worry about that. Gotta look from here now and you get to bed. No problem. I hope you have a fantastic eat and a great rest of your week. I appreciate you for stopping on by. I don't really have too much left, I think. Oh, there's a slug pup here for no bloody reason. Oh, I didn't realize we finally got back to positive karma. That's nice. Alright. 
Gimni Canopy. Ooh, now you can see this weird effect going on. This actually pacifies any enemies. If I was lucky, a vulture would have spawned in and been instantly pacified, falling to the ground, and I could have gotten an easy kill and eat. Alas, my luck is not that good. Let's go back up on here. Whee! Let's see what the see what this weird, spooky go this gold schlager coming from the sky. Come on, Gorman, you can do it. I know you're tired, but you can do it. Uh, ah, uh, 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 uh. Hello, spooky creature from above. And then, as if like a dream, we wake up where we were. <laughs>